gentlemen, the topic that we're focusing on for the first few days of the conference is primarily nation branding in the sense how our country is presented abroad, how are they perceived abroad, and what is the reality. And very often I think nation branding and cultural diplomacy can assist at very often completing the picture. Ladies and gentlemen, Her Excellency Ambassador Mari Odile Bonkongu Balima uh, has an extensive career, uh, initially coming from the field of law, uh, then in terms of her professional career, she served uh, in 1989 as Director of Public Administration under the government of Burkina Faso. From 2005 until 2011, she held the position of Minister of Basic Education. From 2002 until 2005, she served as Secretary General for the government. And since 2012, she's been serving as the Ambassador of Burkina Faso to Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very honored to have Her Excellency here. I would ask you to please join in a very, very warm and a heartfelt welcome for Her Excellency, Ambassador Mari Odile Bonkongu Balima. Thank you. Before starting, I would like uh, to say a few words about today's date. <clears throat> Indeed, today is a great day for women of the world, and for men too, I think. So I would like to wish good celebrate for all the women we must together continue the fight to end violence against women. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mrs. Maxner, please, can you give a, yeah. <laughs> Turn now to the topic of the day. Before beginning, I would like to thank you very much for coming at ECD today to show your interest in the issue of climate change. A special mention to Mr. Donfrey, director of ICD, and his team. Full success in Berlin International Economic Conference 2013. Thank you for your cooperation initiative with the embassy. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, today our planet is exposed to an unprecedented environmental stress because of the negative effects of climate change. So, the climate change is a global challenge, and it is very important to note that the developing countries will strongly undergo the fatal consequences of planetary climatic variability. Therefore, Burkina Faso, which is a silent country, landlocked in the middle of West Africa, had to deal with the impact of climate change since the 70s, in particular, to recurring droughts. But don't worry, Burkina Faso is, uh, that means, upright people. That is the meaning of Burkina Faso, upright people. Burkina Faso is a wonderful and a big country. That doesn't mean compare Burkina Faso with German, no. The greatness and the richness of Burkina Faso is not evaluated in terms of gold or oil or diamonds, but in terms of richness, culture, hospitality, peace. And summarized, the first richness of Burkina Faso is its women and men just go and see. Thank you very much. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, the theme we have shown is Burkina Faso to test the climate change. My speech will be structured around two parts. The first part will focus on the impacts of climate change 
on Burkina Faso. The second part will focus on environmental policy of Burkina Faso. So, what is the impact of climate change? The first part. <laughs> What is the impact of climate change of Burkina Faso? Before, I would like to show you where is Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is a country uh, located in West Africa. Uh, with uh, Mali, Niger, uh, Togo, Benin, Ghana, and neighbor. Uh, some figures about uh, Burkina Faso. Here is the two, two parts. Uh, here you, you have uh, some uh, figures about Burkina Faso. Uh, surface area, population, annual population growth rate, demographic density. Uh, Burkina Faso has uh, a population extremely young. A population living in rural areas, ethnic groups. 15, 16 ethnic groups. Uh, and our richness culture is here. Uh, here you have a minor region climatic of Burkina Faso, silent zone. Uh, Sudano Sahelian zone, Sudano Guinean zone. And of the map, you can see uh, the situation uh, about uh, climate change, the north and the south. Uh, here again, you have uh, the evolution of uh, the climate zones uh, from 1931 to 1916. Look at the situation. And after, from 1961 to 1990, look at. And today, the situation is, of course, even more serious. Um, it is the same thing, the, evol the evolution of uh, the different uh, uh, climate zone. Uh, here, I will uh, just to give you an, an illustration. On, on September 1st, 2009, Burkina Faso was afflicted with strong floods, important damage to crops, and in addition, increase in extreme climatic events like drought and sandstorm. And uh, the result is the aggravation of the situation of uh, Burkina Faso peasant or farmers. Um, finally, you can, uh, we can say that the interaction between climate change and other global problems are insufficient provision food for population, land degradation, deforestation, problem of public, of public uh, health, degradation of air quality, uh, lack, lack water, the dilution of the ozone layer, loss biodiversity. Uh, now, for the second part, we will see what is the political orientation and environmental strategy. These are summarized as follow, decentralized rural development policy paper, rural development development strategy, forest policy, national environmental policy, national and security policy, energy sector development policy paper, national water policy of Burkina Faso, action plans for integrated water resources management, environmental law, forestry law, basic of pastoralism, etc. 
uh, action in environmental protection and sustainable development carried out in Burkina Faso. Uh, we have the program 8,000 8, villages, 8,000 8, forests, later one department, one forest. The program one school, one scope, later one school, one orchard. Campaigns of reforestation and afforestation, adherence to the poverty environmental environment initiative. Uh, here uh, we have uh, action in environmental protection and sustainable development carries in Burkina Faso. You have some examples of best practices, I, I don't know if you can see well, uh, little stone also walls, downstream water filtration walls. Uh, this uh, practice called Zai practice. It is uh, typically Burkina, Burkina Bay. Uh, with this practice, practice soil and water conservation and erosion control for increased soils. Uh, an example of reforestation and afforestation uh, with uh, forest vegetation for protection against destruction and erosion improvement of water balance and hair quality. Uh, here it is um, the promoting of uh, solar energy with uh, some examples. Utilization of solar energy with solar dryer uh, used uh, by uh, women, women, solar health, And uh, here we, you, you have uh, uh, improved uh, fireplaces made with uh, bricks or metallic. And in Burkina Faso, we, uh, people uh, like so much a local drink called Dolo, beer from German. <laughs> and uh, everybody in each city of Burkina Faso we prepare this beer. And the women uh, need to use a lot of wood with the impact in the environment. So we have uh, uh, find uh, some solution to limit the, cons the consumption of uh, wood and energy. Uh, here, you have action in environmental protection and sustainable development carried out of Burkina Faso with facts. A perform, a action perform. Uh, I, would, uh, I would like uh, to give you some information. I, here we, we, you have uh, some figures about uh, action performance. Uh, like uh, production and um, plantation of seedling, training courses, uh, improved forest and forest in improvement, uh, uh, popularization of uh, uh, improved herds, uh, forest management, and um, the implication of uh, 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 committees in the department. So, uh, let me, in um, cooperation with uh, its partners, Burkina Faso introduced in uh, 2007 a national action plan for adaptation to climate change with priority priority goals below to identify the immediate and urgent needs, activities, and projects which would enable to communities to face up to the negative effects 
of the climate change to search synergy and complementary effects with the available instrument and development activities privileging measures to combat the impact of climate change, top involve the risk and dangers associated with climate change, climate change into the national planning program, process. In conclusion, I can say that the climate change is a major challenge of humanity and especially of developing countries to reach the Millennium Development Goals. Concerns that this situation is very serious. Government of Burkina Faso committed to the following, making every effort to include the climate change adaptation in policies, programs, and development strategies in all sectors of national economic life in order to give a global answer to the challenges of climate change and to seize the opportunities which they offer in terms of sustainable development, reinforcing the capacity of the country's population and institution by exchanging and promoting positive experience within the framework of partnership capitalizing existing expertise and the diffusion of best practice, promoting mass production of solar, hydroelectric, and wind energy, aiming and covering Africa's energy needs by 2030, privileging modes of transport production, less greenhouse gas, encouraging sustainable modes of production and consumption in the sectors of development, particularly in agriculture, in transportation, and the management of chemical products, product, product promoting the use of clean technology, promoting the clean development mechanism. Burkina Faso is uh, looking for external financing allowing the development of its CDM capacity and to benefit from the international carbon financing schemes. Thank you very much for your understanding.